to do is show you how to find the slope given a graph with two points. Um, so there's a couple things I want to make sure I go over with you um, dealing with the slope. Remember the slope is going to be, a lot of times we call it like the rate of change, but what it is, you know, it's change um, between two different points, all right? So, you know, if given two points, we need to find what is going to be the change between these two points. What's happening? How am I changing vertically? And how am I changing horizontally between the two points? So a very helpful tool a lot of times is to do what we call a slope triangle. So if I have a point, first thing I want to do is let's determine actually what are, what are my coordinates up here. So when you're, when you're given you know, a graph, you need to determine at least two points to find the slope. So over here, I'm going over one, up two. So this is my point one, count two. And this is the point over one, two, three, four, up one. So four, count one, all right? Now, what I want to do is I want to see what is my change vertically. So how far am I changing from this point to this point? What am I doing vertically? Well, you can see I'm changing. I'm going down over one, up two. Okay, yeah, so from two to one, what I'm doing is I'm going down one, right? So a lot of times what we do is we just write a one. Now, I'm not going to be worried about my negative sign right now because I know I said I'm going down. That's because I'm reading it from left to right. I could also read it from right to left, and I'd be going up one, right? So for the slope triangle point, let's just kind of deal with absolute value. Just think of what is the quantity or, um, that we're going from one point to the other. Then I look at what is my horizontal change? How far am I going from this point over this point? Well, I'm going from a one to a four, or how many units? One, two, three units, okay? So what we're doing is, I've, my change now is going to be one third. So what we do is, we say it's the change in your height, or your rise, what we call, a lot of times, so slope has a lot of different meanings, guys. Um, slope, a lot of times we say it's the change in your uh, y over your change in your x. Or that can mean your rise over your run. Or it can mean the change in your height over the change in your, um, change your height or your change in your like length or distance or left to right. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways we can write this. This is like as simplistic and doesn't even sometimes can actually contradict some things. But then we go to like rise and run, which is very common in a lot of uh, a lot of different textbooks. And then this is even more of a mathematical de definition, which just means the change in my y values, right, over the change in my x values, which is the x-axis. So these are my x and my x values. All right. So that's pretty much what you're doing is you're just the change in your um, Changing your y over your change in your x. So my slope is going to be one third. Now, with slope though, we also have direction. All right, and your slope can either be positive or it can be negative. So there's a way to look at it. If I'm gonna read my slope from left to right, if you go down, that's negative. When you go to the right, it's positive. So since I went down negative here, I have a negative one. All right, you could also read your slope from right to left. That means I can go up one to the left. So I can go up one and then to the left. So up would be one and then to the left would be three. So that'd be a one over negative three. Now guys, it doesn't matter if the top is negative or the bottom is negative. I'm still gonna have a negative one third either way. So my slope for this example is a negative one third. Now let's look over in this example. Here, again, I need to determine what are my two points. So I'm going to pick this point. Um, since I've been over 2, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have a negative 2, comma 4. And over here, I'm going over 1, up 1, 2, 3. All right, so again, what I'm going to do is I need to create a slope triangle. What is my change from left and right, the length? What is my change left and right compared to my change up and down? So let's just kind of draw like a little triangle here. All right, and remember when you're doing these triangles, these slope triangles, they're gonna be right angles. So what is my distance from the right to the left? How far did I move? So you can say, well, I started at negative two and I went all the way over to one. So mathematically, I say, well, 
if you go to negative two, if I did like a number line, if I go to, if I'm at negative two, and I go over to one, that means I moved over one, two, three units, right? And if you look at that, think about it up here, one, two, three. Now, how far am I going down? If I have, that's a negative four, isn't it? So I'm up three, and now what I have is, I went from up three, I went down to negative four, or down to negative four, right? So to get back to zero would be four, and then to add three more would be seven. Now again, remember, I'm not gonna be worried about my slope triangle right now. Uh, I just wanna be worried about what is, the, um, what is the length of my height and my width, or what is the change in my height compared to my change in my width between the two points. So therefore, I can write my slope in this problem, since I went up is a positive seven, over would be a positive three. Now, let's say you read it, that's reading it from left to right. Let's say you read it from right to left. Well, you could also say going to the left three, down seven. Right, you could say down seven to the left three. So therefore, my slope would be a negative seven over a negative three which that is okay because what you notice is a negative divided by negative is gonna give you a positive 7 thirds. So either way, I'm gonna be get the exact same slope. So just remember when dealing with slope, is the change in between two points, the change in the y over the change in the x, or the change in the distance between your two, the values of your y compared to the values of your x. Um, when it's helpful when you have two points, draw a slope triangle, find the quantity first, find your ratio, and then use the direction. And what you'll notice is when it's negative, as it goes, the graph goes to the right, your slope goes down. And if it's positive, as it goes to the right, your, slope, your graph goes up. So that's how you find the slope given two points.